Hey everyone, this is Wei and uh, thanks for joining me here once again. Now for this video, I'm going to be sketching a portrait of a cat and I'll be going over some of the basic shading techniques uh, as usual. And I also want to talk about you know, how you can shade fur you know, easily so you don't have to go too crazy and draw every individual strand. Now for the uh, materials that I'm using, I am using uh, pretty heavy drawing paper. These are Strathmore uh, sketching paper and they're 80 pounds. So they're pretty heavy, there's a lot of texture. Um, but I really like it because it works. It just works great with graphite pencils. So let's get started and I'll talk about the process along the way. All right, so when we look at this cat, um, it's actually very, you know, it's pretty basic, um, just eyes and, you know, and the nose and the mouth. So I'm just gonna draw the eye just to get kind of placement on things, okay? And I am using a, a 4B pencil right now. Um, so just, just let's just sketch in the eyes, and right now it's just kind of placement, and it could be wrong. You know, we can always adjust for it later. And if you go down from the eye and the nose, you can look at the angle. It's about here. Okay, let's see if we can catch that in the camera. Okay, so that's the nostril. It's kind of got this shape, and it goes straight down, and then there's your mouth. So it's very basic, and at, this, you know, quick demonstration is just kind of be, you know, kind of like shading in general and, you know, how you can shade fur a little bit um, easy without, you know, going into like too many crazy little details uh, with the individual hair. All right, so I'm just going to darken the eye and which is going to be the, actually the most exciting part. So for the eye, um, what I generally like to do is just go ahead and draw in the, uh, the pupil and then draw a little circle for the highlight area. That way you know that you know you, you're gonna be avoiding that, that highlight area. Or if you don't then you know you just end up having to erase it back out. So I'm gonna hit that pretty dark and then the eye, let's see. No, it's kind of bluish, so I'm just gonna give it an overall, very lightly overall value. And then the edges, you can see it's pretty dark, right? It gets a little bit darker. So I'm just gonna do these little strokes like this just to get the edge. And you'll get a nice um, you know, gradation. And then if I, if I wanna hit it harder, I'll just turn my pencil a little bit just to get a sharper edge and I can just push in, just push in, you know, just push right into it. And I talk about this a lot on my other drawings. You see that I keep turning my pencil and, and that's precisely the reason is because once you start shading like this, um, it gets dull. And then, so if you want a sharp edge, then you gotta have to turn it, okay? So pretty basic on the eyeball. All right, so let's get into the fur, which is gonna be uh... So the reason I am using a 4B is because um, with fur, it's just, it's just so much of it, right? It's just kind of, we want a softer pencil. Okay. So I'm just kind of shading some of these darker parts. Let's see, the nostril, let's get that. Then, the brow area. So, when you look at the strokes, um, you see that I'm going along with the hair, you know, where, where it's going. I'm not going this way, right? Uh, I'm going along with the direction of the hair. And that will help because you get, you know, at the same time you're shading, you're also getting um, direction on the on the fur, which is like a bonus. Okay, so let's see. This is a little bit darker. Okay, I'm just going to skip the nose for now. Okay. And then I'm just going to place one of these. This is where the whiskers come out. I'm just going to kind of like three lines. It's really just more for placement. Okay, it comes out, let's see, this thing goes down a little bit. And then that's the edge, that's where the face is. Okay, and then, all right. Okay, so with that, I can keep doing this or let's try smudging it a little bit. Just so that I can get like an overall um, feel. So I'm just going to use my finger. Um, you can use uh, like a stump 
you know, this kind of stuff um, to do it, but it's a little bit too tedious. I'm just going to go with the finger. I mean, you can use it later on, you know, to highlight little details, but at the beginning, it's just, it's kind of one overall value in it. Okay. So even with this, you can see it's starting to develop, right? You're, you're, you're starting to see the form of, you know, how it comes in and out. So that's what smudging will do. It's, just, it's very fast and you're able to, um, you know, get quick results. It's, it's kind of like just putting on a base layer. All right, so now I have that. Let's go in and hit some areas a little bit harder so we can get a little bit more detail. So you can see, like, if I do this, right, where, where it tapers off, it's almost, it almost feels like there's a white hair co coming in this way, right? So I'm just going in this way. Have a tail off. So like here, and I might, I'll probably make this a little bit darker. Just, I know he's like a very light orange cat, but I'll make it a little bit darker just so that you can see the difference. See, so if I go like this, it almost feels like there's hair coming this way. And obviously, there's gonna be a lot of overlapping, right? This. Um, I'll probably end up making certain areas a little bit too dark and things like that. And to get those little highlights of the of the hair, the whiskers, um, we're gonna have to use like a eraser to cut that, erase it back out. So now we're just doing more. So as you can see, it could get pretty tedious, right? Let's shade this a little bit more. So I'm kind of going around um, develop, developing this thing slowly. And, you know, it's kind of like um, you're going layer by layer. You know, you're not going to go too dark at the beginning on, on any certain area. So, okay. So now you can, you can kind of feel the fur a little bit more. Uh, the fur is getting darker. And that makes the, the eyeball a lot lighter, right? Just, just by contrast. So I'm going to make the eyeball even darker now. I can go in and uh, let me see. Okay. So I'm going to hit that pretty hard. It's going to give it a lot more contrast and really make the eyeball pop, which is very, very important for any kind of portraits. The eyes really do have it. Okay. So it's pretty dark. Now the 6B, it's pretty soft and there's, it, it tends to leave a lot of um, rough edges around. You know, it looks very textured because I am using a sketch paper. So there's a lot of texture to it. So there's, Let's say I want to smooth the eyeball a little bit more. Um, then I'll switch to, let's say, like a, a 2B. That will give me a little bit harder. And I'll get kind of better shading. It's almost like filling in the little areas, right? And now I can get in and really, it feels a lot finer right, when you're looking at the eyeball now. And that's how you get, you know, very, uh, just more delicate shading. And if I wanted to, I can even go down, let's see, that was a 2B, I'll go down to a B, and then just, just shade some more area. And that will just kind of clean it up. Okay, so you can see the B doesn't really go that dark, but it's just kind of like helps to fill in some of the areas. Okay, and then I'll switch back to the 4B. I'll hit this pretty hard on the edge again. So now the eyeball really kind of pops out a lot more. Okay, so I'm going to go in and uh, accentuate some of the areas just 
to give it more form. This is a little bit darker. So let's make this a little bit darker. Okay. This part is pretty dark. And this thing, the eyes, gonna make that darker here. much a little bit this is kind of very bland so it's, and at this point um, it's a lot more detailing and this is when you tend to slow down a lot um, all right Okay, so, I mean, it's kind of the same thing, right? Now you have this, I mean, the more I build on it, you know, the more it's just gonna you know, get detail more and more realistic. And at some point, you're gonna have to say, you know, when is enough, how much detail is enough. So I'm just gonna concentrate on this, this hair area. All right, so let's, let's just move down um, uh, to the nose. And let's see. All right, let's switch to let's switch to a two B. Let's just just because the nose is not too dark. Now well, you know what. Going back to the four. It's a lot faster. So shade the nostrils dark, right? I'm. You can see that that line in there is dark. So I'm just gonna hit that like a line like that. But then make sure you fade it out because. Um, you see this a lot, there's, if you look at any kind of organic shape, there's not a lot of hard edges. And if you're a beginner, you'll notice that a lot of, a lot of the drawings do have hard edges, that like you're actually using lines to represent form. And that is just, it's a normal process, you know, when you first um, draw something, you know, you, you, you kind of perceive things uh, very basic, like, you know, like the line is, you know, the eyeball is, is, you know, like an almond shape or the nose is just like a little line and, and, and two nostril line and the lip is just one line and, you know, and it really isn't like that, you know. Um, the reason we see the, the nose is it's not because there's a line there, it's because the light is able to fall off and then, you know, that's how you visualize the form. So there's not a lot of hard edges. So it's the same thing like, you know, for, for this, uh, the nose here for the cat, it's just, you might see those lines, but you gotta make sure you, f you kind of fade it out a little bit, right? Just so that you don't actually end up using like a straight line like that. So even like the, if you look at the mouth, it's, you know, it's, it's easy to assume it's just like a triangle shape, right? Like a little angle, but it, it is, but it's, that shape comes about because there's hair down here that is darker and there's an inset, right? It's a little bit uh, receding inward. So if I just, well, as an example, let's just, uh, let's use a 2B. So if I just shade in here, let's see if this is in camera, okay. Just checking to make sure everything's still in frame. See, if I just shade in like this, it automatically gives the, the illusion that, you know, there's something like this, this, um, this now, right, is coming forward. Okay, so let's just rub it in real quick. I'll just rub it in like that. So I don't spend too much time filling in the little area. And since I've been smudging, I'm just gonna smudge everything, you know, just soften everything a little bit. And that is because, you know, once you start smudging, you, you, you kind of have to smudge all over because um, it kind of unifies the drawing. It's like you don't want some really soft areas and then you have hard lines somewhere else. It just look really odd. So notice like even um, the lines I'm doing, I, I'm not doing like a hard line. I'm really just kind of shading it slowly and let it, let it develop. So let's add a little bit more detail on the bottom. Let's push this up a little bit. Now 
Now this area right here is actually pretty subtle. So I'm slowing down a little bit. So this is kind of ooh, very a lot lighter in the bottom. All right, now um, I mean, I'll, I'll do the other side too, but it's, it's kind of the same thing. So I might not show that in video. I don't want this video to be too long. Um, but I will finish finish it just to show you how it will look like. But let me show you how you can get. Um, Back some of the, the details. So let's say like um, let's say you have this and that, and you want to bring back some of the white area. Um, now this is an electric eraser. Or if I could find it, where's my other eraser? Um, okay. So with the electric eraser, what it is is uh, it's well, it's an electric eraser. You just push it and this thing spins, so it's able to cut into um, into these these the paper and actually bring back some of the white back out. So let's say I want to bring back, uh, uh, let's see if I want to make this a little, I want to add another highlight right there. So I'll just stab it, I'll bring it back and let's say, okay. And then let's see, you gotta get one of these little brushes too, to brush away. So you can see how I can, I'll just create another highlight right here just so you can see how that See, so, so you're able to you know, bring back some of the white. And then for the whiskers, I'll just go and just kind of erase out like this. Okay, so these little white lines. You can bring in, let's see. Well, I'll just do it anyway, just to show you. So if I go like this, So you can see it's cutting into. Okay, so that's how you can bring back some of the white um, on the paper. Let's just do a little bit more. If I sharpen it a little bit more, the eraser, I can get a finer lines, but I don't have that done right now. So, and then, you know, once you have this, you can go in and kind of help it a little bit, soften things up, you know, so that it's not so harsh. And you can, you can, you know, sketch around it so you can, you know, sharpen up those harsh um, eraser lines. Because if you make, see if you make dark right here, now all of a sudden this feels like the whisker is coming forward, which is what you want. And see now I'm just kind of, I'm not going so much to the reference. Now I'm just kind of using the to be and really just to make it into a drawing and not so much into exactly like the reference because so I just want to create this feeling of, of hair right so I mean you know if you if you want it you need it to be exactly like this of course then you're gonna have to spend a lot of time you know, reading into the little forms everywhere but um, for this video I'm just gonna Try to finish it like this. Now, once you um, cut in some of this, uh, you know, whiskers and stuff in the white, uh, make sure you don't rub it again because, you know, if you do that, then you might have just gotten rid of the white. So, for this little hair right here, um, I'm just using a 2B and you just kind of go go in and make these little detail lines like this. It, it, it 
gives it a lot more you know furriness to it it really helps and you don't have to do it all over the place it's just as long as you have some area that has a lot of detail you know people would generally feel like oh there's a lot of detail in that drawing um, and sometimes it's actually better because if you do if you if you put detail everywhere it just um, people will just look at it and they say oh that's a lot of detail everywhere and they kind of lose focus right they don't really care but if you have one area like the eyes will really pop out they'll, they'll look at that and you know it gives them a focus a center of attention and it really doesn't matter if there's a lot of hair you know on the, on the side so like right here I can I'll, I'll fade it out a little bit so let's say the edge uh, you know you can see I shouldn't have put that line there right because it's a little bit too hard um, all right, so I'm just gonna put some put some uh, fur on the edges. I'm just gonna use. I should switch back to this to the four B. It's actually better if it's softer, so that feels like it's out of focus. Okay, so you know I finished up the other side and just. Add a little, little bit more detail overall, and this is how the final drawing turned out. So it's a lot of fun, you know. I just kind of kept the focus around the eyes, and you know, didn't do, go too crazy uh, for the fur all around. So gave it a nice soft look. So it's it's kind of cute, right? So uh, you know, just give it a shot and see how it goes, and uh, I will see you next time.